So today we will cover few topics. Uh, the so the first topic will be the concept for the Dynamo and the web uh, post web API. So based on this diagram, you can see uh, how our Dynamo API and the post API to link with the third party uh, third party solution or service. So for here, actually, uh, do you know what is the API, everyone? <laughs> So for the API, actually, it's the application programming interface. Uh, it's used to the design and develop for online developer to integrate with our Dynamo and the touch post and the touch FMB. So we are the RESTful API. Mm. And then uh, most of these web API program are integrate uh, application to initial HTTP method by JSON format. So we can call or request to get and post some of the transaction or get some of the info from our Dynamo backend and the poll system as well. <clears throat> so based on this diagram, we can see it. Uh, this is the third party uh, application or web store. And then we can use one of the program is the Postman. This is a program uh, as the integration tool to test the API and send to and receive requests like get post data from our smart demo uh, web API. So for usually the Dynamo web API will sync the data to our Dynamo and the post API will sync the data to uh, our smart post. So based on here, maybe it's uh, got a third party application or web store they want to get our some info from Dynamo, they will throw the API to get it up. But uh, if let's say I want to consume, maybe they want to test or consume some of the API before they are uh, testing to run it, maybe they can use a Postman to consume. So from here, actually, you can see the diagram is like this. If let's say they want to uh, get some of the info from our Dynamo, they will Maybe the application, the third party is the web store. They will throw the Dynamo web API. So they get it, the info and sync to the Dynamo or sync from the Dynamo. So this is the way how to they run. So this is most of the concept how to do that. Okay. So second, we will talk about the operation module supported by web API. So from our web API module here, if let's say uh, you just now, as Eunice mentioned, you can test on the just not the link. So you can see it. Actually, our Dynamo can support few uh, module already, like the, what you want to get some of the module from the info from common module, customer module. Actually, it's uh, almost. Uh, Everything is ready, ready. Yeah. So here we can see the some of the info you can get from our Dynamo, like the stock module. You can get the stock brand, category, stock group, and stock as well. Like the customer module, you can create uh, some of the customer to our Dynamo there. And then uh, maybe you want to get customer information from our Dynamo. So they can get it if they say they want to do integration. So here will be mostly some most of the information you can get from our Dynamo by API. Okay, for post also got so post will be more simple a bit. You can create the sales to our post, that means if let's say they got the apps to make the order, then they can sync the order to the cash sales, then the cash sales to uh, the post system there, they can create the cash sales, then post system there can record the sales as well. So here you also can get the, some like API key also can get it. Is it a live data or test data? We can get it from the data, post data, uh, the, Okay, so how usually we will consume the web API? 
So based on the this uh, diagram here, we can see if let's say uh, that maybe you want to show your the third party uh, application or web store uh, vendor, if they want, you want to show, maybe you can use the Postman to cons the tools to consume it for them to test. Okay. Here, maybe you can register the, uh, from this one, Postman, you can register it. You can click the link later. If let's say uh, you get the, this, uh, you, if let's say you get this slide, or later we will send a link. Actually, uh, we got a knowledge base portal here also got update all the info at there. Later, we will, we will send the link for you as well. So here, actually, once you sign, sign up already, then you sign in to the, this one, Postman web portal, or you download the Postman application to consume the web API also can. So here, actually, once you uh, sign in, or you download the apps for the Postman, so this is the main screen. So you can uh, enter the URL here. And then you can go through the params here to insert the value, the key. So later I will try a sample. So now I roughly to, 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 to show you first. So here, if let's say you want to consume our web API, you can uh, use our demo for testing webs, uh, the link. You can click on this link. Actually, you click this link as just now you need to show you. Okay, actually is. Okay. Actually, it's this one. You can see just now, actually, uh, once you, if let's say you want to check our Dynamo Web API URL, you can click on this link. So once you click this one, the link, you can uh, show what we got a module can do for it. And then the sub module, what the info you can show it at the, our Web API, Dynamo Web API. <laughs> The post API, you can use this link and with this port so you can see it. And then this is the API key. Maybe if let's say later you want to use the postman to consume the web API to show your third party uh, vendor, maybe you can keep it. So this is the web API key to, to link our uh, Dynamo data. This is the web API key to link our post de uh, demo data. <clears throat> okay. So for here, I will roughly to show how to uh, to get our Dynamo Web API. So this is the Dynamo Web API. Actually, here you can insert the customer name and then the port. But this port you have to do the port forwarding for this port. But this one is not. Uh, if let's say your Dynamo is using the server socket port is 8,000, here actually you cannot make it same. You have to create another port number for to do the port forwarding for this one web API. And then the access we are here, you have to put either the public IP or the host name with the port. And then you have to put the database name, which one you will link to open the, this API as well. Then you can insert the config file here. So you can create the user management to create the user. Here you can, once you click this one, user management here, you can actually, once you set it, all the things here, you will get the API key as just now I show you in front here. So how you get the API key as surely is you based on the user management here. Once you click, you will see the API key here. So here we can control what we uh, let the third party to access or let them to access from or access to here. And then here, this is the post web API. Actually the interface is almost same, but the setting here also as well, same as well, but you have to check it 
the port also. Here, Postal API is for, if let's say you have a uh, few posts to want to link it, then you have to set every post to set this one web API. That's mean if let's say they got 10 posts, so you have to set the 10 post API at the post machine there. So the post there also got the API key as well. Okay, how to locate the API endpoint to consumer? Actually, you have at the first, we have to set the this one. You, you have uh to put to take this one host name or the public IP with the port here, and then you plus the API name. So here you can get the API base URL first. So this is the base URL. So what is the API name? Here you can see if let's say they want to take the stock information, so the API name will be the stock. So here you can see once you click the stock JSON here, then you can see uh, to get and then the stock page and then uh, which page. So here is the endpoint. So if let's say they want to take the whole things, then you can take it, the info like this one. So here does now show the column here, page. You have to put the number, page one or page two. So every page will be got 20 items there. So once you get the, this kind of information ID, so you can apply to the Postman application there. You can create a workspace, then you create it at the new tab. You can insert the, just now the, this one endpoint, the URL endpoint to here. Then here you have to take note, you, put, you have to put the key is the format and the value is station. So here we got mentioned is gap. So that's why here you have to put this gap. Oh. Then the authorization here, the, uh, this is actually is to put the API key, but the type here you have to put, uh, put it as the parent token. Then you put the API key from just now, uh, I show you the at the, So you can click here, you can get from here. This is the API key. So once you get it, then you click send, you will get all the result. You can see the, the body like this. So this one is, uh, they are say the body for the programmer. Okay, so if let's say for, if let's say you want to install or configure the Web API, how to get the installer for the Dynamo Web API or the Post Web API. So here I will show you how to get it. Uh, actually, you will give you a link, then you download the folder. After you get the folder, you can copy entire folder. At, uh, if let's say you want to install the Dynamo Web API, so you copy the whole folder and put under our smart app folder inside here then you unzip the folder you put the folder here and then you double click the folder you can see this one uh, dynamo web api here to open the application but by right here you have to cause the version we you get from the link later actually the version is that one is the old version. So if let's say for old version, that one, you have to set up the configuration file. So how to set the configuration file? So if let's say here, I show a basic sample here. So here you can see the config file. Once you open this config file, you have to set up this one. So you make sure your data source, the SQL Management Studio, the instant names, the SQL and server engine, the instant name. And then you put your Dynamo database here, and then the user ID for the instant, SA and the password is one. 
So once you set it, you also can set the port to here as well. What number, what the port number you want to set up. Can you can set up here. So once you set up already, then you click in the dynamo mode. This one, uh, web API. After you open it, it will show the screen like this one. Actually, it will show at the bottom now. You can right click and click the show. You will see this screen. So it will show the bottom of the right side here. But for you, let's say you want to test on your uh, PC, your, your PC, you have to set your own host name and your own port. Uh. Cause this one uh, is our concept store demo. That's why we put it to here to show you how we set on it. So for you, you have to set your own host name or public IP and your own port. So the port, you have to make sure you've got to do the port forwarding at the router there. And then the database name is your own testing database. Uh. So if let's say you you want to use our demo that one, actually you have no need to set it. You can directly to view just now the link here. You can directly to show it as well. So you just use the postman to cons the tools, postman tools to consume to show any. But if let's say they want uh, your customer that third party vendor, they want to use their own data, you can create a uh testing testing this one testing API socket for at their server there to let uh the third party vendor to test for their own data. But if can you you have to uh use you back up the their live data to create another database for them to test up to use the live data to test up unless the work is successful to linking every well uh, everything is uh, well already then you only can uh use the live data cause at the testing uh status maybe they're still not sure anything so if they said some info posting to the dynamo there maybe we will uh, got some issue up. so that means here you have to make sure that uh, you have to create a testing database for them okay after you just now you set up this one you have to click the setup okay if let's say just now the configuration file there uh, maybe something you miss up you want to set it after you upgrade the new version you can directly to uh click the setup you can change the customer name and the listening port and the access via the the link and the connection string actually this part is just now i show the configuration file it's actually it's this part because uh the old version this one is don't have the this kind of thing uh don't have the this don't have the this button because the if let's say you get the old version actually is the uh the basic one uh, the screen will, will be not like this but after you upgrade to a new version you will see this so here actually you can uh control it by at here already uh. but before you upgrade maybe you have to do some of the configuration setting on this folder so this folder actually like you can see this two setting actually is this two and then the database name also but the connection string you have to set it as well so this connection string here is this part configuration part so this is the connection string so you have to make sure everything you set up here already if let's say miss up maybe here like i forget to set the host name or the property ip so after that you upgrade the new version, you don't need to go to the configuration file there. You can directly to click the setup here. You can change on here already. After you change, you set. So here, we also can control the API there, what can access from the, uh, for the party to access or what they can uh, posting the things to our Dynamo. So here you can control it. You can click on the user management here. By default, actually, we got create a username is the smart 
the permission there, we, we got set the basic idea. Lah. If let's say that you want to access all, you have to, uh, you can click the user access management here. Okay, we might, I, I show you how to create a user. If let's say the user don't want to use our default one, you want to create another username for them. So maybe you can set a new user, then you create the, your you, uh, username and the password and confirm password to set it. Then after you create a new user, you can set the access management here. Uh, this is what I just now mentioned, what you want to let a third party to access to get or posting to our Dynamo there, you can throw this setting to set. So here, if let's say you don't have to set access like for customer, so they cannot get the customer information. So this one you have to take note what they can access the, uh, for the, from the Dynamo there. <clears throat> and then here, if let's say uh, default, you don't want to default the username, you can delete, you can add the new as just now mentioned. But if let's say can default there, you maybe you can uh, put it at default first, uh, unless anything they still can access for here. But every user after you set their own API key. Uh, so this one you have to take note. So after you set it, so this is the ensure all the things is granted and the API key is, is ready to deploy from here. So by right after you set up this one, this is the API key to let them to access to if let's say you want to put on the just now postman tools, the, the tools there or the application there. You want to consume the, our API. So this is the API key you have to put under just now the parent token there. Okay, so after you set up this, you can click on this open API URL. If let's say you open this one, you can, uh, you will see the configuration is correct or not. So if let's say you click on this API URL, you will see this screen. So this screen means you're successful to uh, to set up the API for your third party access already. But some of the PC, maybe locker, you cannot open, cannot show it. Maybe you can copy this one uh, just now, the, the host or the public IP at the port as well. You Maybe you can test on another PC to make sure is it correct or not. Because some of the PC, maybe the local test on the PC there, they cannot access. So this one is based on the internet vendor there to set up the router. So this one, if let's say you cannot, so make sure you can open another PC to make sure, or you can use your phone, the browser there, you put in the this, this link in the port as well. Okay, the next one will be the post web API. Just now it's a Dynamo API to ask if let's say they want to access our Dynamo or get or posting to Dynamo. For post here is if let's say they want to get info or post some of the info to our post, you will use the post web API. So this one will install at our post system PC there. For here, this one Dynamo will be installed at the server PC, Dynamo P, uh, server PC there. So this one you have to make sure you put it is correct. Of course, I see sometimes they're setting this one at the server there, but by right, it, this one is the install at the post machine there. So this one also, you after you get the link to get the folder, you also have to put copy the whole folder, put under this one smart app folder here. So you will see the folder is under here. And then you, this one also same. Actually, uh, if let's say, if you get the, just now the link of the previous version, that one, you also have to click the configuration file. Actually it's same as this one, you open, you, put, you update the info here. 
Okay, maybe I will show you the. Okay, so the setting also same as just now. You have to put the port for them and then the hosting and the port to here. Local host, this one, you no need to change the local host, you just put, update the port. So this one, I show you what is different to test. <laughs> and then here, you can update the customer name and the post database, you have put it. You can say uh, you install to want to access the touch FFB, here have to update is the touch FFB, the touch closer. And then here, the configuration string, con connection string also same, you have to set up as well. Okay, after you set up, then you open this one, uh, post API. You will see the screen same as the, like this one. But if for the previous version also, it's the different, it's the different uh, that one, the screen. But after you upgrade, you will see the screen will be like this one. So here you can see after you double click, actually also you type at the bottom of the screen there, you right click and click the show, you will see the screen as well. <clears throat> so here, as what I mentioned, if let's say some of the, after you upgrade the new version, maybe some of the setting you want to change, you can direct to, to change that here already. No need to go to the just now uh, configuration file there. So, for the first time, maybe you have to set up at the configuration file there. So after that, you anything you can change from here. So here also I'll set the user management to to provide the API key for you. What can access and cannot access under the module there. And then here also got the add the new user if you said to want to use the default smart user. And then what you want to access for this user, you can set as well. So you can get the cash sales or out of stock information or some of the system information here. So you just check or uncheck on it. Okay, if let's say it's got the unwanted user, you can delete as well. And then you have to ensure the permission was uh, were granted and the API key is ready to deploy as well. So after you set up here, you, you will get this. As API. So this is the API key for the post web API. For just now, that one is the dynamic web API. So it's different. So under post web API, you get the post information. For dynamic web API, you get dynamic information. Okay. So just now, when you see the configuration file, you can see uh, one is the local host. One is the gutter. You put the host name of public IP here. So this is the different uh, button to show. If let's say open API URL, you will see this one, uh, host name of the public IP with the port. If let's say you click the local URL, you will see the, the IP will be 127.01.01.1, that one. <laughs> so this one, uh, because sometimes, as just now mentioned, for post here, maybe uh, some of the stem they cannot see the local PC, the API URL, the information here. You can use the local to check it, is it work or no work. But for local, sure, it's for local to test only. La. But if let's say at the end, you have to make sure you open your API URL is, uh, is, uh, is correct. Is it can access from outside to here? Actually, pirate is checked from here. Okay. But after you what you set up, even you set up the Dynamo Web API or Touch Post Web API, at the end you have to make sure you got put these two shortcut under the startup folder there. If not, after you restart the PC, if you not auto start up the these two program. So this one you have to take note. And then how to get the API folder. Okay, here you can get the folder on the installer. 
So here you can get the link here. So this is the maybe if let's say you want this uh, username and password, you can get from our uh, salesman. Either Eunice or Simon also can. We will provide the password for you to get the download. So here is to download the web API. Here is to download the post web API. At the end here, you have we got a special note for the post web API imp implementation. So imagine if the party attempt to consume the post API different outlet. So API key is required. By here, when you set up the user management, the user there actually user and password you can put it the same, but. Uh, we will set up, we will system will generate the API key based on the name and password. So that means here you got five posts, five outlet. We will create five different uh, API key for them. So this one uh, is a special technique you want. <laughs> okay, so this is our today topic. So here I will show you how to if let's say you want to check the update for the, you want to check the update for the this one post web API, actually you can come to our portal here. You can copy this link, smartnewretail.com user guide. You can click on the Dynamo post web API here. We got the information about all the web API. And then here you can see uh, the topic as just now I briefing. So here it will same as just now what I briefing already. And then here you can see the same as just now uh, what you want. If let's say for implementers, our dealer implementer, you want to get the installer, you can get from here. If let's say you want to show your third party vendor, maybe you can click on this link. Here maybe uh, got the basic information for them easier to get it. Uh. So here you got teach how to use the API to consume the API by the postman step by step for them to test. Uh. So here we we'll show the uh, web API and post web API. Okay, so maybe I roughly to show you once just now. Uh, you get the okay for here. If let's say we want to access this one, the stock information. Okay, for here, if let's say you want to get the stock information, so you copy this one first. You put this one under here, and then the key here you put format. And the value here you put JSON. Then authorization here you put uh, the parent token. Then you put the API key. So API key you, you can get from here. So this is the API key. And then so make sure this one is run. Then you set. Mm. Okay, but right here you have to add on something up there. Mm. If let's say here you want to take the stock information, can you copy this one? Okay. Okay. Maybe you want to get the stock page one. So here again, format. Okay, so then you set. So you can see this is the, if let's say you successfully to see this kind of stock information, that means you already successful to access uh, for the third party vendor that can get access to get our stock, uh, dynamo stock information idea. So this is the sample you how to use the, uh, this postman to consume our web API. 
So this is the, the basic topic for the web API. I have paste the link at the chat box there. That is the link go to this page. So this is our uh, Smart New Retail Knowledge Base Center. Uh, again, I think today topics we will, uh, what we are talking already in this site. So I don't have an extra uh, the, the PowerPoint slide for you. You just copy the link in the chat box and then you, you bookmark it. You can go come to this page. Okay, so just now I say, uh, where do you get the, the link, right? You go to this get web API folder. Inside have this. I can give you part of password also. But what I want to say is, this thing is basically is same as our Dynamo. In, you may remember in our Dynamo, when you come inside, you can see common module, customer module, customer inquiry module. So you at first your you need to understand what is the thing that your customer want to link send to the Dynamo. Usually, maybe they want to usually they want to link the stock balance. So we come to the stock module, and then you if you if you're not sure what is inside this stock brand stock stock stock, you go inside JSON to read the description. Inside have the description. Is it this is the information that is compatible to the requirement of your um. Uh, customer window. And so also this is the thing that you need to know first to explain to them because they, uh, although this is the, the, the programming language they should know, lah, but maybe they are not sure what is this AC stock IC ID, AC stock uh, SC location ID. Maybe they don't understand this. So we have this description here to explain it further. Okay. And how is the parameter using this? Lah? Oh yeah, I forget one thing. Sorry. For here. You want to share? Ah, yeah. For here, just now I forget to mention is you can see some some of the like cash sales or you can see the sales order or the customer here. You can see one got simple, one no simple. If let's say can you get the simple? Simple is the new 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 API la. Cost for some of this. If let's say you can see the deposition uh duplicate uh service here, this is the old API. If let's say uh if your if got using the this one web API for Dynamo, if let's say it's using this one. Uh, duplicate so uh for API you have to make sure uh that can update to the new new one uh, cost that one will not uh got enhancement for that so any enhancement will based on this simple to enhance already so this one have to take note simple not the simple matter actually simple is a new new a new one uh. they make it simple already so this yeah well. so maybe they will also will ask why do you still keep the simple and not simple because when we develop this one uh we have now already like batch tools or something like so when the batch one user they're using they're using the not simple one so we cannot straight away take out the not simple we still have to maintain that if not will uh disrupt their their structure so we still maintain that but you you need to take note like you saw the two different lines come out as the customer invoice and as the customer uh, invoice them simple, then you choose the simple. Let's say, got, uh, if let's say they're using card existing, got using the web API, to, uh, if let's say they're not using the simple, if can don't upgrade the web API version first. If not, after you upgrade, uh, uh, maybe it's cause the data cannot synchronize to our Dynamo or synchronize to the third party vendor there. So this one have to take note. Until they got enhanced to use our latest, that one simple that method. So you only can upgrade up. If not, they cannot sync because we I got facing this before. <laughs> I saw a question. Basically we can only get API, how about post and delete and got add other API. 
we also can get the post cause post is uh depends what they want to uh post to our dynamo maybe uh they want to post the order to our dynamo also can that's why it's post maybe you can check uh where maybe the cards Okay, for here, I show the screen. You see uh, this one, if let's say they got the customer data from the third party vendor, they want to post the things to our dynamo. This one is the post, not get. So they can create, but you have to make sure they follow our the body, the body structure. The, the things is like this one. You have to they follow our method. If let's say the like the ID, actually we got the cost for our customer ID. If let's say you create a customer ID, I can create a customer at our dynamo. Actually, the ID is a 20 alphabet or numeric, only 20 digit or alphabet. That's one you have to follow, ask them to follow. If not, then later you post the data, maybe to here got some issue. Lah. That's why here you have to let them to check on here. Mostly they will, if let's say they are the programmer there, they, they, they can understand this kind of thing to here. So make sure they follow this structure. For our understanding, uh, last time we straight away give the link to you and then you go to give your vendor. For our, because for our understanding, the programmer, they should know how to read the programming language. Lah. But we still need to do the first job with explain a little bit on um, the concept, the linking of this between their, their program and to our program. So I hope you all can get what do we mean today. Any more questions or any more uh, part that you feel like a bit blur, they still need us to say again. Maybe you uh, can let me know. For the third party vendor, if let's say they got interest, actually you can try to understand first based on just now the portal there. <clears throat> you try to understand all the topic from here should be okay already. Then the installer how to get, if let's say want to install at your client server post, Dynamo PC, uh, Dynamo PC or server uh, post PC there, you can install here. But for the, after you understand ID, maybe you can pass this thing to your, this link to your third party vendor. I think they roughly can understand ID, it should be because uh, last time we got passed it to let the third party to, 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 to uh, know about our product API. They they already they will understand about what is our uh, structure for the web API. Maybe need the document for length of each field. Hmm. For the ID, take no no, just the ID should cost based on our time ID actually is 20, 20, all the ideas, stock ID, customer ID, or any OM ID category, all is the 20. Digital okay, so thank you, Afat, and thank you everyone for your time mm. today. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye.